to start this video off a little bit different. So that required nailing the perfect landing to get the shot. Today is gloomy, ugly, foggy, cloudy. I don't really have much of a plan of what to do today. So I think I'm gonna pick some random place to fly to and we're gonna go out and fly to it because why not? The ceiling's super low, so I can't go that high. Let's get back up in the air. Radical. So when I was sitting on the ground, the more and more I looked at it, looking straight up, it seemed as if the fog was burning off a little bit. But now that I'm in the air, it really doesn't seem like that. <laughs> as per FAR 103, in Class G airspace below 1200 feet AGL, I need a one mile visibility horizontally at the surface, which I have and I must remain clear of clouds, so not flying in them. I want to go somewhere and land. I have an hour till sunset, but I really don't have any ideas of where to land, so I'm just gonna go this way, and maybe I'll land at a school. It's so nice and calm out. Smooth air. Let's get down and swoop some trees or something. fun. I bet this GoPro footage kind of looks like shit. I know when it's not bright sunlight out, the GoPro really kind of suffers. Saucy. <laughs> I've been flying with so much uh, cold weather gear, gloves and jackets and everything and I always feel like I'm just in a straight jacket with all that shit on and it, it always makes me like not fly at full potential because I feel confined if you know what I mean yeah. dude. He's a hawk. Sheep dee be dee be dee ba ba bow. This is kind of the type of flight that is just fun to unwind. You go out and fly around with no intentions of doing anything other than just wandering around. It's kind of that freedom that people talk about. Literally, you can just you see a tree and you do a circle around it. It's just fun, relaxing. These power lines in this field literally turn invisible. I've noticed some sets of power lines get hard to see, but believe it or not, now you can see them. Right there, there's power lines. What a gloomy freaking day. Yesterday was raining. Today has just been this low fog all day. And tomorrow is um, raining again. I'm completely trusting the engine that it won't die or else I'm gonna land in a freaking tree. I know it's kind of a bad mindset to adopt complacency of trusting your engine because the repercussions for having an engine out and smashing into a tree is pretty bad, but 100% reliability so far, I'm just saying it's pretty good. Let's go dive that tower. It would be super rad if this like ceiling thing going on right now just broke apart and I could fly above it and see a spectacular sunset. I don't think that's going to happen. That's cool. There's no one here at the school. <laughs> totally just come in to their parking lot. Greenwood School. These little 
pyramid friggin' dirt piles are cool though. Look at that thing. <laughs> This is interesting. This is a little school I've never really seen or flown around. Why don't we land here? I just gotta establish the wind direction. And of course they have no flag up front. Stewartsville Middle School. Okay, let's shoot a landing here. Should I land on the basketball court? That'd be kind of cool. I'm gonna fly past it once just to assess. I got that f the uh, light pole and the basketball hoops. No power lines. Feels like I'm into the wind here. Seems decent enough. Let's see if I can do this without crashing. <laughs> why am I here? <laughs> because why not? I hope the cops don't come or something and say I'm trespassing. <laughs> if they do, you know, just tell them that my uh, engine died and I had to land. Casual. Paramotors are the shit, man. How else could you just go about flying around like a bird and landing in a random basketball court slash parking lot? The question is, do I want to try to launch here? Nah, that'd be stupid launching straight at those trees. I'd much rather lay out in the grass right here. This is so random. Yeah. Carabiners become difficult to operate with gloves. I feel like I should take a picture or do something here. Let's unclip for a quick picture. Stick those there. Pull out the old cellular device. Gotta get that photography skill going on. Yeah, that's sick. It's 4.36, sunset is at 5.05. .05. So I got a little bit more time to goof off. According to the task, we got one statute mile visibility overcast at 300 feet. Let's take one for Snapchat. What is my Snapchat? Tucker.got, follow me on the Snapchats. Creeping out of middle school. That's a quality caption. Flock a flock of geese. Those might be snow geese or something. Let's see. Wind direction? Yep. Right down the field. I'll turn out before I get over those cows. Lay the old snake out and I'll get strapped in again. Casually mosey back to the <laughs> freaking park. What the hell did I do here? Ah, there we go. Look at that sweet ride. The Scout is the nicest looking paramotor. All clipped in, like a kitten. So I'm gonna offset just a little bit to the right side. So I hopefully assist the wing in coming up away from those obstructions. All seems good to go. Let's uh, send it. What a beauty. This is a cool little landscape here. Look at that freaking corn stalk. That thing was like 10 feet high. Well, this one's tight. into the turn and looking ahead to bash down a corn stalk at the same time. If they didn't have so many damn solar panels, I could totally land on the roof. That'd probably be a horrible idea. Don't do that, kids. Well, I can add that to my list of random places I've landed. It's probably starting to get close to sunset. 
So I'm gonna head in the direction of home. That's a big freaking cow. All right, we're back at the park. I'm gonna say it's 10 minutes till sunset now. Kinda hard to tell. I think it's about time I come in for a landing. Let's hook her on in. That was rad. No killing the engine and gliding it in today. Can't even get high enough for that. That was sick. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my foot trail. It's slippery enough out here because it's wet. I can just ski it right in. I'm gonna unclip and then I will be back with an outro, yo. You know, for a gloomy day, that was a pretty rad little adventure. Um, I wanna say real quick, I'm pretty stoked on the growth of the channel recently and I'm stoked to keep making videos for you guys and bringing you along for the adventure. So keep on sharing, keep on liking, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, I think the summer is going to be awesome. I'm excited for it. Got some big ideas of things I want to do summer, fall 2017-esque. So hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, peace out. See you guys. <laughs>